I define myself as a strong, compassionate, creative woman and a lesbian. My family is very supportive of me doing anything. You know, when I did the first season, you know, my dad saw the, the trailer of what was to come and he was like, you know what, Wit, I love you, but I don't think I'm gonna be watching. And I was like, you know what, Dad, hey, high five. That's okay. My mom, however, um, would go to my aunt's house like every Sunday to watch the show. And I was like, you know, Ma, if you could just avoid episode seven, that would be great. And she was like, wait, you know, I, I know what you do. It's totally fine. I'm like, yeah, and that's great that you support me and all. It's just that there's certain things I don't want to watch you doing. So if you could just refrain from watching that episode. So as of now, she's not watched episode seven. This season, you know, you're gonna see me dealing with my relationship with Sada a lot. I mean, I love her. I love Sada. I, I, I love her to death. Um, she's a fiery character. You know, I think we're both used to kind of having the upper hand in a relationship. And possibly Jack is kind of a new girl in the mix. Um, and Rachel, my ex-girlfriend, she moves into town. So. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. It's a community, period. So like, you know, every community, I mean, every lesbian community is the same in a sense, you know? I think that, that women kind of come together and, and are there to support each other and um, date one another. Like, there is definitely overlap. LA, I think, has a lot of that, same as any other city. I mean, the thing that's different about LA lesbians is like, there's definitely different sides of town. There's the east side lesbians and the west side lesbians. East side is a little more hipster, a little more rock and roll. And uh, west side is like a little more hip hop. The lesbians here tend to like, you know, fall into that line. It's not to say that, you know, they're better or worse or anything. It's just, I feel like there's a more, I've seen more femmes here than anywhere else. That's for sure. Claire's a tough cookie. She's like a tough little cookie that just moved out here from New York. She's definitely got a vision of how she likes things to go and how she wants things done. And and uh, our relationship definitely reflects that. Corey is like just a beautiful woman. Like she is a woman. I think, I, I mean, I almost want to say Corey and Casey in the same sentence because I feel like they're a package deal. Like they are so in love, it's, Amazing. Francine is like a little bubbly ball of energy. Like she is hilarious. But I think that she's a little trouble starter. Kelsey is like, she's like a cute little nugget. You just want to like shake her. Like for one thing, kudos to Kelsey for dealing with Romy. I love Romy, but damn. Um, I think you'll, you're definitely going to see a lot of their personal struggles, their relationship struggles, but you know, they love each other. And Kelsey's full of love. She's a good girl, and but she's young, so. You'll see, you'll see that, her dealing with that. I think you're gonna see a little faster paced show. Um, there's definitely action and there's definitely drama. I think that you're gonna see challenges and growth and, um, and a lot of things that are, it's gonna be good. <laughs>